President Moon Jae-in invited four key political and government leaders for a luncheon at the top office on Thursday to brief them on the results of the historic inter-Korean summit and also to fill them in on his upcoming diplomatic schedule. Hwang Ho-joon with the details. It was the first meeting of its kind since the historic summit between South Korean President Moon Jae-in and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, and the third one since President Moon took office almost a year ago. The liberal leader pointed out that things have changed since then. President Moon had initially invited the so-called five next in command to the Thursday's luncheon at the Blue House. Those five are Prime Minister Lee nak National Assembly Speaker Chung se gyun Chief Justice of the Constitutional Court Lee jin Song, Head of the National Election Commission Kwon soon il and Supreme Court Chief Justice Kim myung soo But Chief Justice Kim myung soo is visiting Spain, Argentina and Chile, so he was unable to attend. During the 90-minute session, the officials were briefed by a top national security official on the results of the summit and actions to follow up on the Panmunjom declaration. According to the Blue House, National Assembly Speaker Chong noted that because both the South Korean and U.S. presidents will have several years left in office, there's a much greater chance the Panmunjom declaration will actually be implemented. The Chief Justice of the Constitutional Court said he felt genuineness on the part of North Korea as he watched the summit broadcast last Friday. South Korea's Prime Minister praised the live streaming process, saying it amplified the message of peace to the world. And the National Election Commission chief said building trust is a two-way street and that the two Koreas need to work together to gain each other's trust. The menu for the lunch was the same as last Friday's dinner in Panmunjom, so Seoul's Big Four could taste the dishes served at the summit. President Moon insisted that North Korea is taking part in the summits with sincerity and accepting reality unlike before. He pointed out that North Korea is taking a leap of faith and said that Seoul must seize this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Hwang Wojun, Arirang News.